As a family doctor, I might actually recommend that you get Botox. That's right. Uh-huh, I know. You're sitting there like, wait, what? Botox? Wait, she's going to say I need to get Botox? Isn't that the stuff for the wrinkles? And by the way, yes, there is Botox Cosmetic for wrinkles. But let me tell you guys, we use Botox for a lot of different conditions. I'm going to tell you what they are. And yeah, you might actually be a candidate for and benefit from a uh, Botox treatment. Uh-huh. Uh, so I'm going to tell you what that is. Don't go anywhere. But let's first start talking about the wrinkles because that's the main way that people know Botox. By the way, when I talk about Botox, we're talking about uh, botulinum toxin. It's a toxin made by a bacteria that actually causes muscle paralysis, hence how it gets rid of wrinkles, right? Okay. Now, a lot of you guys know Botox. By the way, the word Botox is the brand name of a particular brand of this toxin. I am not sponsored by anyone. No one's paying me to do this. This is not a sponsored anything. Okay, back to the back to the wrinkles. Yes, Botox Cosmetic, and there are other brands, will help get rid of your wrinkles. And by the way, guys, that's okay. It is okay to get rid of some wrinkles. And, and I need to say this, by the way, not only as a family doctor, but as a person, okay? Sometimes there's a lot of shame on the Googler Schmoogler and other places about, oh, she gets Botox and whatever. And I'm like, and? Can we just normalize people uh, doing, um, and it's got to be safe, professional, by board certified doctors, legit stuff, right? But can we just normalize um, people's right to choose what procedures and things are right for them? Okay, that's all I'm saying. I don't want anyone to feel any shame. If you get Botox, right on. If you don't want it, totally fine. But yes, Botox can be used for wrinkles. It, it works very well. It's temporary, okay? because it does wear off, so you have to get repeated treatments. But in the beginning of the vi this video, I said, as a family doctor, I'm, I might be recommending to you that you get Botox. The reason why I say that is because Botox or this botulinum toxin can be used for other conditions. Let me tell you what these are. And literally men and women, by the way, men can get Botox cosmetic too for wrinkles. Okay. Um, this might be right for you. First of all, chronic migraine prevention. Yeah. Did you know that um, this toxin actually treats chronic migraine patients? I have patients uh, that get get Botox for their uh, migraines. They are doing very, very well with it. Now here, I'm also not like, not only am I not paid by the drug or whatever, I'm not saying this works for everyone. I'm not saying this is a miracle drug. I'm saying this just like I do with every other thing. I want you to understand the breadth and the depth of a topic uh, like Botox. It is more than just the wrinkles, okay? It's not going to be right for everyone. You've got to talk to your board certified physician to see what's right for you. But I do have a lot of patients who get it for chronic migraine prevention, and they do really, really well. It, not for everybody, but some of my patients do great. Also, uh, it's FDA approved to treat adult spasticity. What does that mean? Muscle spasms, tight muscles in the arms and the, the legs. It's approved for adult use as well as pediatric use, which can be very, very helpful with people with certain neuro neurological conditions and other things. Also, it can... And, uh, it's FDA approved to treat something called cervical dystonia. That is when a person has involuntary sort of muscle contractions of their neck. Sometimes their neck can get stuck in a position. It can be tight. It can be really uncomfortable, spasmed, okay? Botox can, uh, can is an FDA approved treatment for cervical dystonia. All right, it can improve the head position, decrease the neck pain, the spasticity, etc. And can, you can imagine how great that would be for someone who had this issue. The next thing, the next thing is overactive bladder. Okay, yeah, I know y'all hear me about this overactive bladder. By the way, for any of you, okay, uh, men, women dealing with incontinence, I want you to make sure you talk to your doctors. Incontinence can be a debilitating thing to deal with. It can keep you in the house, keep you away from your friends, keep you from going out, make you feel embarrassed, all sorts of stuff. Uh, I'm just saying this and I've got a, I think I have some videos on incontinence. Maybe I'll do some more, but guys, this is actually a really, really important quality of life issue that I want you to take seriously and not blow off. I see this affecting my patients every day, but in terms of overactive bladder, I do want you to know that Botox is an FDA approved treatment for uh, certain patients who have overactive bladder. <laughs> See what I meant when I said that as a doctor, I might be recommending you get Botox. So you thought you were like, wait a minute, what's she trying to, right, 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 right. <laughs> okay. Next axillary hyperhidrosis. 
I, I don't know why I had to read my book for that because I actually know this. Okay, I actually know this. Axillary hyperhidrosis. You're like, what are you talking about? It's like when you get excessive underarm sweating. I didn't need to raise my armpit to, sh to show you my armpit, <laughs> to show you where it happens because you know. Underarm sweating. You know, some of us get like, we just get drenched. Like we, it's like a faucet and we just sweat and sweat and sweat. And actually, Botox is an FDA approved treatment for that. You actually get injections in your armpit. I have patients that do this too. And it works very, very well for them. Okay. Huh? Look at that. Uh, next thing, blepharospasm. A little bit of a tongue twister, a mouthful there. All right. I've written this down because I want to get this right. What that means is um, some people can get eyelid spasms, uh, which means they can have, un and I'm sorry for them reading, but you can get uncontrolled blinking, narrowing of your eyes sort of involuntarily, involuntarily closing of the eyelids involuntarily as well, or maybe not wanting to do that or it happening too much. Um, Botox is an FDA approved treatment for people with that. And uh, also strabismus, you may know what this is. It's basically when the eye muscles uh, and the eyes are, um, they're not aligned. Maybe one eye is doing one thing when the other eye is doing another. They're not doing the same thing, misalignment of the eyes, uncoordinated eye movements, double vision. Um, those can be some symptoms that people people have. Guys, y did you know this, first of all? Like, is this not... I, I, look, I, I, I do these videos because this is really just about this is what I do in the office. And when people see me for these conditions and they, I'm struggling with this, whatever, it's my job to know what options are available, to know when I need to refer to my specialist. I'm not giving Botox, by the way. Um, I'm referring them to neurologists, to eye doctors, to dermatologists, to whatever, to make the assessment as to, hey, is my patient a candidate for other treatments, which might include this or other things. But it's my job to know that these things exist, but I also want you to know it. And I want you to know it as well because Botox Botox, the word is not a bad word, but I think when people hear the word Botox, they only think about wrinkles and that may conjure up good, bad, or and different feelings for people. But I want you to know that, no, it's, it's, if you, if you didn't think it was legit or you thought wrinkles were frivolous, let me just, like I said, knock that down. It's not frivolous. If somebody is concerned or worried about their wrinkles, then it's, then it's a concern and it's a worry. That's legit. Okay. Um, it's kind of like when people say, oh, acne is not a big deal. Are you kidding me? Acne can like devastate someone. It devastated me when I was a kid. So, and, and this is the doctor in me and the human in me, like, you know, w w we don't blow off people's concerns. Okay. Now I know I'm preaching. Let me just take a step back. I'm just in this mood today. Sorry. Um, but I want you to know though. So when you hear the word Botox as an example, I want you to know that it's not only a cosmetic Botox cosmetic, but it's also Botox as uh, an FDA approved treatment, not only for the cosmetic aspect, but for other medical conditions. Okay. So Botox or a similar treatment actually might be right for you. You're surprised, aren't you? Mm -hmm, right. So interesting. Um, I love what I do. Oh. Anyway, let me know uh, if you feel comfortable sharing right in the comments. Do you get Botox? What do you get it for? I only ask you to do this and only recommend it because number one, when you guys share things, it helps other people who are reading the comments. Okay. Um, and remember, this is a safe place. Yeah, there are people negative Nellies who write negative comments, but we're not talking about them. Um, this is a safe place for people to share. Okay. Um, anyway, tell me your experiences. Tell me what you do, what you don't do, what you think, what you thought. If this is new, whatever, I'm Dr. Jen. Um, please uh, la, 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 uh, follow me on Facebook if you have not already. Consider joining my subscription groups, Dr. Jen Superstars on Facebook. For those of you who send Stars. I respond to you personally. Thank you so much on YouTube. Hello. Um, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. Also, guys, go to my website, drjancoddle.com for my free um, health newsletter. Uh, you can subscribe to my uh, daily health tips. All sorts of stuff. Anyway, guys, love y'all. Okay.